Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, how are you? My name is Erica and I make videos about all things handbags and all things thrifted. So today y'all, I have a very fun bag to show you. It is a new one in my collection. I got it about a week ago. So let's sit down. Let me, you know, show you the bag, grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, whatever your preference is, and let's get into the bag. All right, guys, so fun story behind this bag brand. I have tried this bag brand before. I absolutely love it. I would consider it one of my top 10 most favorite bags in my collection. And I've kind of just, I've had the itch to get a new one. The bag brand we are speaking of is Cambridge Satchel. We are gonna just get into it in terms of just showing you what's all in it. I'll give you some first impressions and I will do a later on review because there's really not many on the internet right now on this bag, so I will definitely come out with that. But let's show you the bag. So the bag in question is the Cambridge Satchel Traveler Bag. This is in the large size in the color fur. I originally saw the small size in the color oxblood and just fell head over heels. However, I was a little concerned with the small size. I wanted something a little bigger, so I went ultimately with the large size. The Oxblood did not have the sale, and I don't think it's available in large. I could be wrong. However, I really did like this fur color, and it's just not something I have, so I was really, really pleased, and when I got it and saw it in person, I was so stunned. It's a stunning, beautiful bag. It's got the pockets on the sides. This one also has a pocket. And then I'll flip it around for you where you see that Cambridge satchel emblem stamped in gold. The hardware is a gold accent, which I actually kind of like, especially in contrast with the green. I think it really just adds to the bag. Now, the funny thing about this bag brand for me is that I actually, again, got introduced to it when I went to London. I was in Covent Gardens, and I said when I touched down in London that all I wanted was a red satchel bag, kind of like the one from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the new one on Netflix. So... I'm just kind of minding my own business and there it was, my ideal satchel, and I purchased the red one. I have done videos on that bag. I will stick them in the description box down below. And when I got the itch, again, I waited and then I found this one and it actually got delivered a lot quicker than I expected, like 10 times quicker. It said it was coming on December 10th. It came last week on like a Wednesday, which I think was like December 1st. Uh, December 1st was the date. And the funny thing about it coming in was the date that it came in happened to be the date that I had touched down in the UK exactly three years ago that day. So I just thought it was a really nice way because I'm so nostalgic for that trip that, you know, at one point I was in London, London kind of came back to me on the very day that I had went to it. So that funny story aside, my first impressions of the bag let's first and foremost get into the shipping again i thought the shipping was unbelievably quick they ship with dhl i had ordered things from within the united states and got this bag quicker from out of the states than i had the things that i had ordered previously so shipping speed 12 out of 10. however it they don't wrap this bag in plastic it did come with a dust bag I kind of am torn with plastic. I get it. We don't want a ton of wrapping, but when something's coming across the ocean and going all that way, I would have liked to have had this bag a little bit better sealed. I wish I had done an unboxing. However, I wasn't anticipating this bag being in, so I was a little stunned. So did not do that, but the box also had a hole in it, so I wasn't super impressed with the shipping. But when I opened the bag, it was in pristine condition and it just looks phenomenal. Now I will say, I think this bag is right now a labor of love. It is kind of a stiff leather for sure and you really have to break it in. So I don't feel like it's as malleable as I'd like it to be. My red satchel bag was the same until I really started to break that bag in and then I felt like it got a little looser. So if you're the type of person who likes a plush, like, you know, malleable leather, I wouldn't say don't let this bag deter you but I would say give it time, it'll get there. But let's pop right on in. All of the side pockets, the front pockets are magnetic closure, so you don't have to worry about a buckle if that's not your thing. But let me just give you a little overview. This bag is stuffed like mad, and then it is like unlined. It is not like a suede material, it's just kind of like a matte of the exterior color. 
So it's just absolutely stunning. These bags are all genuine leather and they are all handcrafted in the UK. And they do say on their website, each bag differs a little bit for the fact that they are handmade. So let's get into the bag, shall we? First thing poking out is my new planner. I know what you're thinking. Another planner, Erica? Yes, another planner. I got this from Erin Condren. This is going to be my personal planner. The planners that I've showed you previously have not gone to waste. They're actually at my work. I'm using them as work planners. I have taken the advice of some of you and I have divided my planners into both personal and work. And with 2022 coming around the corner and some goals I'd like to meet, I decided that it was time to really dedicate myself to a planner. And I wanted to just target a size that fit into all my bags. I feel like sometimes I get too big. They don't fit into the small bags, you know, and I just wanted something that had the space, which this one does. And this fits into most of my bags. So that's the new one. Doesn't start till 2022, so nothing's in it. The next thing I see is a little notebook. I got this off of Am Amazon. It comes in a two pack. This is just my budgeting notebook. So, you know, just pay for bills, make sure I paid them the whole shebang. Next thing, another notebook. We like paper around here. So this is my Hello Kitty notebook from Erin Condren, which was again the planner. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is going to be my new ideas notebook. I haven't even written into it yet. Again, with just things I want to do in 2022 and all of that jazz, I really feel like I need to start planning and just executing more of like an organized personal lifestyle. I feel like I'm very organized at work, but I'm not always organized in my personal life. So I'm really hoping not hoping, I'm going to actively work on being far more organized in my personal life and have ideas at the ready. So that's what that is for. The next thing I see is my book. It's called Lock Every Door. So this is part of my November book club. And I have to say at first I like liked it. Then I went to a period of disliking it. I thought it was just sort of like a beachy read with not a good plot. But the plot is thickening and I'm about halfway through and I like it so far. I think the book club meets next week, so I've got a couple days to get this done, which is not not doable, so we'll see. The next thing I see, and new for you guys if you have you know watched my videos before, this is a new pouch from Go Forth Goods that my girlfriend Marie gave me. You'll see it says EMW. It was a wedding gift for me with my new initials, which is just oh, so thoughtful. I absolutely loved it. This is in the color Saddle from Go Forth Goods. This is my first larger item with the saddle color and I just absolutely love it. Marie has also transferred me to the brown side of bags. I really like brown bags thanks to her and I just really love that she thought of me for my wedding. So this I've just been using as a beauty bag and I have to say guys this is probably the best size beauty bag I've ever used. I think it's really like nice and compact but it fits a lot of stuff. So we'll just run through it really quickly. This is my ibuprofen pill case. It just holds, you know, my pain meds for my headaches if I have one. The next I have Vaseline. As you can see, my hands are looking a little bit better. They're not looking fantastic, but I credit a lot of Vaseline, Aquaphor. Uh, that's been helping me quite a bit. So I carry the Vaseline with me when I need it. The infamous, not so infamous, but the, you know, always Little Mermaid compact mirror that I love so much, which I will never get rid of. A little feminine product. A hair bobble. And then we have a little Neutrogena makeup cleansing wipe. This actually came into like a party favor from my bachelorette party. And I was just like, you know, why not? You never know if you need one. Another feminine product. We have lens cleaners for my glasses. We have a note that came with the beauty pouch. I have my Idol by Lancome perfume, which is my absolute favorite perfume. I have some different gel for the spots that come up on my face throughout the day if I have them. I have a little like crystal set that's like a good luck vial that I got at a crystal place close to my house. That's how tweezers. Can't leave home without those. And then I have ear climbers, which I was wearing at work, and then I took out. So that's what, like, blah, blah, that's what this, blah, that's what this pouch holds. Again, it is unlined. It's kind of got that, like, rough, almost, like, suede sort of feel, and the inside just is a beautiful, unbelievable leather smell. Would recommend just for the smell. Next, I have the ones, the onlys, the Marthas. 
Yes, we have the Moth with sunglasses, my all-time favorite. I actually <laughs> wore these at my wedding for my intro. I absolutely love these. They're just, yeah, they're so fun. They're freaking Martha Stewart. Who would have known Martha was such a baddie and had such good taste? <laughs> the next thing I have is Tic Tacs. Again, it was in my little bridal shower, like, goodie bag. So I decided to keep them. I do like Tic Tacs. The next thing I have is my Flint Roller. Always a must for any fur parent. I think anybody. I mean, if you have something you want to just lint off, I would recommend this fits in nearly all of my bags and it's just so compact. I love the fact that it's retractable and it's just, it's a really handy thing. I would say I use it in every bag in every situation. Next, I have a Vaseline all over body balm gel stick. I have the other one. I recently picked up this one. It is nice because you can actually like roll it on your hands like so. I think it's just a little bit less messy than your traditional Vaseline. Uh, so I do have that. I have one at home and one in my purse. Yeah, we're serious about Vaseline over here. <laughs> the next thing I picked up uh, recently is this mini Nutella. I got this at Target. It's kind of like, I would say maybe a couple servings in here or maybe one, depending on how much you like Nutella. I love Nutella. I loved how mini it was. And y'all, I grew up in a German household I was eating Nutella before it was cool, before you could really truly find it everywhere. My mom had to like really go search for Nutella, so it's got a very special place in my heart. I love Nutella, and I, yeah, I just think this is so fun. So I picked it up and I've just not taken it out of my bag. <laughs> the next thing we have is a Target receipt for a grand total of $55.61. Next, ooh, y'all, we have some paint samples. So I am in the process of starting to renovate some of the things in the house and painting the whole nine for which I will be filming all of it. However, I picked up some samples, uh, some from my kitchen and also some from my office, which I used to film in. I haven't, but I'm working on getting back in there. So I'll give you a hint for the office. This is, this is the hint. And then this is the hint for the kitchen. So yes, there's that. Oh wait, hold on, we have another office hint. Do we have any more paint samples? I don't believe so, but I'll leave you with that. Next, we have my wallet. This is my little coach wallet that I thrifted about, I would say two months ago. I have just yet to get over this wallet. I absolutely love it. Although I will say I was gifted a new wallet for Christmas. Can't wait to show you. Yes, I know what it is. Me and my friend Daria have a very difficult time keeping each other like out of the loop of what we bought the other for Christmas. Yes, we usually know instantaneously what we're getting. So we're one of those people. But yes, you will soon see a different wallet. But for right now, I am still in this coach wallet. I just think it's a perfect size. I really do. I love it. Next thing I have, oops, note, we'll get to that. This is my work badge with the lovely Briley Collections a Louis Vuitton like cover holder, the key holder. This is my new lanyard. It's the Field Museum from the Sioux exhibit. I live close to Chicago, so of course we went to the Field Museum, had to see Sue. My other lanyard broke, so I just thought that was a really fun little thing, and I think to me it brings back memories. So the next thing I have is a note from DJ from Flowers that he got me a long time ago. I like to carry those for sentimental values. The next thing we have is a mask, because yeah, for obvious reasons. The next thing I have is some like paperwork. I have some stamps, I have a Victoria's Secret coupon. Y'all, maybe TMI, I found the best bras at Victoria's Secret. I'm a bigger chested gal, so you really gotta, you know, you gotta really kind of get a good bra and I'm really not one for Victoria's Secret. I hate, hate spending money on that stuff, but now I kind of understand it. So I have this coupon and I'm going to go buy more of them. We have more notes and things like that. Oh wait, what else is this? Oh, JCPenney gift card. Gotta go use that. So we have that kind of stuff. We have... We're almost to the end of the inside, guys, and we don't have much on the outside. Oh, wait, what else is this? Oh, it's a little picture. This is my pups. This is Carl. This is Apollo. And this is, like, the next day after we adopted Carl. So it's my little Polaroid. I have two pens, both gifted to me by my boss. I have a Lamy Fountain pen for my 30th birthday. And then I have a Conklin ballpoint pen 
This is the same pen that Jean used in Sex Education, which was my inspiration. I absolutely love this pen. I get a ton of use out of it. Super comfortable. That was a recent Christmas gift. And that ends the inside. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's still kind of like stiff. So I just feel like with use, it's going to stretch out. I mean, it really does stretch to encompass quite a lot of stuff, if you, like, obviously can tell. And then it's got that double pocket, which I quite like. And another thing I genuinely love about this bag is the snap buckle. Is The magnetic is absolutely stunning. It's just, it like, I don't feel like I'm trying to figure out where the, the snap is. It's just a really, really good magnetic snap. I mean, if you know, you know, right? So I definitely like the closure a lot. Now, going on to the side... I have to say I think these pockets are a great aesthetic but right now with how thick this leather is and how like non-malleable right now I don't love the pockets I specifically don't really like the placement of the d-ring and then to try to get in I feel like they get in the way again I like the look I feel like they should be better functioning but they're not um con to the bag of my book but on the sides I have my Dr. Dan's quarter balm chapstick my OG chapstick, best stuff ever. Find it on Amazon. Recently found out that Drew Barrymore's go-to lip product is also Dr. Dan's. I feel like she may have watched my videos because I'm the only one that I ever knew to use that. But go Drew. It's great. So the next thing I have is my Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. Another great lip product. I've bought this multiple times. This is in the color Ice. And I'm not a gloss person, I'm more of a chapstick person, but I have to say I really do like this stuff. Enough that I've bought it like three times, so that's how you know. Again, I put this scarf on here. We're going to go into the other side pocket. This one's really, really tough for me. Okay, so inside here we have... Ooh, could this get easier? Because it's, it's on my camera, guys. That's how easy it was. Usually it's not. I feel like I'm digging in here. We have my AirPods, and then we have my Bluetooth clicker. So that is it for what I carry in this bag. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope for any of you who are thinking about the traveler bag, this is a good insight of at least with the large size carries. I really do genuinely like this bag. I have to say because of the leather, it is heavy. But when I have all that stuff in there, which obviously do not pack light, it doesn't feel all that heavy. I have carried it around multiple times, like thrifting and things like that. And the weight does not bother me, despite all the crap I carry and for the fact that the bag itself is quite heavy. But I really, really liked it so far. I will definitely come out with a review later on for you. But I just kind of wanted to give you a glimpse and a show and tell of what I keep in my bag and how much this bag can fit. I do always find those helpful. But anyway, let me know what bags you have picked up during Black Friday or Cyber Monday sales if you have picked up any at all. I have two more bags on the way. <laughs> I'll do an unboxing of those though. So anyway, again, hope you found this helpful. But that all being said, y'all, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. All right. Bye guys.